Growing your own fresh food from home is becoming more and more appealing, not having to rely on supermarkets or supply chains. But then you've got all that digging, planting. I mean, who's got the time? What if I was to tell you there's a brand new, beautifully designed system that doesn't require space, you don't need a green thumb, it doesn't even need soil. Don't believe me? Let me plant the seed. Well, come meet Prue and Tom. You guys have created the air garden. What have you done? This thing makes it easy for anyone to grow anywhere, anytime, no green thumb required. And best of all, no soil. Our mother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's and dementia. The more we looked into that, the more it kept coming back to food, diet, lifestyle. And so we went looking for a better solution and stumbled across aeroponic technology, which was first developed by NASA. Right. So they were trying to work out how to feed astronauts in space. Just explain to me again what aeroponics is as opposed to hydroponics. With aeroponics, your roots of your plants are sitting up in air with a whole lot of oxygen around them, and then it's periodically getting showered with a nutrient-rich solution, and it manages to grow these plants two to three times faster than it would in the ground. So basically, everything I can pick up in this bounty here, I can grow in the air garden. Pretty much, you can grow 150 different fruits, vegetables, flowers. What you can't grow in an air garden are things that grow on trees like apples yeah. or things that grow underground like a potato. Yeah. It's making me hungry. Yeah. So the air garden literally arrives at your home or an apartment, wherever, and goes together in minutes. Get to it. Clock right. start. Clock's ticking. Let's go. First thing we're going to do, we're going to take all of our components out of the box, flip over our reservoir, and we're going to attach our four wheels. We've got our pump that goes into the bottom of the reservoir base and we're gonna start building our body bases and our body tops. We repeat that process until we get all the way to the top. And hey presto, there's your air garden. A great idea should be as simple as possible and not simpler. And the air garden is a great example of that. All it is, is a pump with water in it. The water then is pumped to the top of the air garden and down through the top. And if we take these plants out, it's basically a little waterfall, which then trickles down the hollow interior nourishing the plants. My name's Maya Jung. I'm an industrial designer. I met Tom and Prue when they came to me with a proof of concept of a vertical aeroponic system. And we were looking to refine it to help both the commercials and the functionality of the unit as well. With our first iteration, the most important thing was that it worked, but the cost of getting that to someone and also storing it was eye-watering. We really had to try and drive that cost down and that's where Maya and his expertise really helped us make it a reality. Effectively we were trying to make it a better product for less. A big improvement we did from V1 to V2 was we made it nest right into that base unit. Nature really is the innovator. We're just giving, I guess, nature a little bit of a hand. We just want people to have a go there's so much joy to it. Seeing something grow from this to that and being able to feed your family, it's there's something innate about doing that that makes you feel great. Now, Mrs. Deva, you certainly have some budding green thumbs here. What are some of the special things, though, that defines the air garden from what you've had previously? At some different stages, we've had little veggie patches, the herb garden, but the success we enjoy is with the air garden, that compact space and easily accessible for the kids. It's automatically visual for them, but it's also looking at being a part of the community. Yeah. And that's really vital for us because it's what we do. You love the air garden. I do love the air garden. I do love the air garden. Yeah. Well, it's lunchtime here in primary school and now growing your own food is quite literally child's play. Now guys, I've only got ham and cheese. Can I have something else off the, off the air garden to eat? What can you get me? I'm loving your school project. I have to mark it. Should I give it an A, B or a C? A! A for A! air garden. <laughs> well done. Mmm. <laughs> If you liked this, make sure you subscribe to our channel for more videos every week.